Okay, binomial distribution. Binomial distribution takes whole number values. Uh, it's a discrete distribution. To be a good model, you need to satisfy these four conditions. Number of trials must be fixed. You don't have to know what the number of trials are. That might be an unknown, but they have to be fixed trials. You only have two possible outcomes, success and failure. Um, success can be anything. It could be getting a red. Failure would then be not getting a red. The trials must be independent. So the fact that you've had a success on the previous trial will have no bearing whatsoever on whether you get a success on the following trial. And the probability of success each time is the same. Probability of success is constant. Now, these last two are the assumptions that you tend to make when you're modelling a real life situation using a binomial distribution. You'll be given this formula to work out the probability of a particular value. Because your calculators are so good and they're assuming that you're using them, you'll probably only have to use this formula if there's an algebraic element to the question. And I'll show you what I mean in a minute with an example. Your calculators will work out the probability of x equaling a number, BPD, and the probability of x being less than or equal to a number. You'll also do inverse binomial as well. Right, example one, straightforward example using binomial probabilities. 20 babies are born, G is the number of girls. Now, that's going to be integer values, girl or not girl. It's clearly, you know, we're going to set this up as a binomial. However, you know, you can clearly see there's, well, there's clearly a fixed number of trials and also you have a success and a failure. What are the two assumptions needed to model this as a binomial with n as 20 and p as 0.5? Well, you would have to assume that the probability of having a girl stays the same, is constant, and that the event of having a girl is independent. Part B. Hence, find the probability that more than 15 babies born are girls. Well, the probability of G being greater than 15 is the same as greater than or equal to 16 because it's a binomial. You know, you could only have whole integer values, which we would need to work out as 1 minus the probability of G is less than or equal to 15. You would substitute that into your calculator and you get the answer 0 0.00591. Right, question two. You're told that X is binomially distributed where N is 8 and P you don't know. You're then told that the probability of X equaling 5 is the same as the probability of X equals 6. Find P. So this is where you would use your formula. So substitute your values in. So X equaling 5 would look like that. Five successes means three failures. X equals six would look like that. Six successes, two failures. Work out what 8C5 is and 8C6. And now it's just turned into an algebra question. So you divide by your lowest power of each term. So you end up with getting P is two thirds. Right, this is a good question. So it's where it turns during the question. Frankie posts 10 parcels. The probability that each parcel arrives is 7 eighths. Right, it's a binomial. You've got a fixed number of repetitions, 10, and the probability for success, i.e. the parcel arriving, is 7 eighths. So find the probability that all 10 parcels arrive. So that's the probability of x equaling 10. Now I've used BPD here. It's given me 0.263 or 7 eighths to the power of 10, whichever you prefer. Probability at least nine parcels arrive. Well, that's x being greater than or equal to nine, which of course is one minus x is less than or equal to eight. So I've used one minus bcd there. I've got 0.639. You could have worked out nine and 10 individually and added them together. Right, this is what's good about this question. Frankie chooses five months at random. Find the probability that all 10 parcels arrive in at least four of these five months. Now, this is where the question is turned. Your number of trials is now five and the trial is in a month. 
a success is 10 parcels arriving. So if you go back to part A, that's where you found the probability of success for this question. The probability of success is 0 0.263. So new distribution, N is 5, P is 0 0.263. You want at least 4, so greater than or equal to 4, which is 1 minus less than or equal to 3, which is going to give you that answer there.